Hi, uh, my name is Erin and I study uh, greenhouse gases and soils at the University of Alberta. So when we talk about a greenhouse gas source, we're talking, or carbon source, we're talking about things that release carbon to the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas. There are also carbon sinks, and these are things that store carbon, so it's not in the form of CO2 in our atmosphere. So main carbon sinks in the world include the ocean and soils. So soils are capable of storing huge amounts of carbon for millennia, so thousands and thousands and thousands of years. However, there is likely a point where soils can't store any more carbon. So there's what we call a plateau. So it's like it ends. The amount that they can store, it's, it's finite. So it's not infinite. It's not on forever. Oceans can also store carbon. However, when oceans store too much carbon, what's happening is that this causes a reaction that actually acidifies oceans. Okay, So that's to deal with pH, generally things like a neutral pH. When we have a low pH, that's what causes acidification of oceans. And things don't to like to live in an acidic environment. So think of... Mm, living in water versus living in lemon juice, which is very acidic. It's not quite that acidic, but that's a good one example. So these things take carbon out of the atmosphere, which is really good, but there are consequences and potentially limits to the amount of carbon that they can store as well. A pop up with an extra question. Yeah. Everyone keeps saying, plant more trees, plant more trees, like plant trees everywhere. Mm. Is that to feed the soil? Yes. Source? Yes, also trees are, so, so roots in the soil contribute to soil carbon. So roots are constantly growing and dying and growing and releasing carbon into the soil. So this allows soil to store more carbon. Trees are also long-term reservoirs of carbon in their biomass. So trees use carbon to grow and trees can grow like huge. Think of the redwoods on, in. Uh, the western coast of the United States. They have trees that are like bigger than a car and taller than buildings. And so think of how much carbon is stored in soils. And some of those trees are hundreds of, of years old. So hundreds of years of carbon storage in those awesomely old trees. So that's why we promote the planting of trees. Eventually those, those trees will die, but ideally in natural systems, uh, what happens is their biomass is broken down by decomposers and um, microbial activity, so tiny, tiny creatures that we can't see that live in the soil. And their dead biomass contributes to soil carbon and soil nutrients, which then essentially feeds the growth of new trees. So when it's a, when it's a natural cycle, it's all kind of feeding one another.